Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with an Amazon haul. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get a couple of these bead storage trays and one other item. Um, I was watching Marilyn G here on YouTube and she shared these trays and how she was organizing her Christmas um, uh, embellishments. And I thought, you know what? This is so perfect for that. And so I decided to order two. Um, I decided to get the one, this is the 45 piece kit and it comes with all of the little, well, um, the different, um, size, um, containers. You can order it separately and then choose the, the type of container size that you need. Um, but I just decided to get a multi, um, size one. So you see that there's a large, um, well maybe XL, large, medium, and small. And um, I love it. So I got two and I started working on one. So I figured I'd show you the first one that um, I started working on. And it looks just like this. It's a thin tray, so it's perfect for storing. You could label it. So for this particular one, I probably will label it um, like December or Christmas crafts um, because this is all um, Christmas embellishments. So let me just show you. It does have these little levers that um, you just pull down on the side. It has this plastic lid. And then on the inside, you have all of the containers. So I'm going to go through and just show you some. Um, I recently shared these. Um, these are like the little peppermint um, polymer clay uh, mixes that you can use um, on your paper crafting projects or in shaker cards. And this was a large bag that I think I received from the KS Craft Store and it filled this extra large container, which is amazing. Um, so I love the fact that this one has different sizes. Um, I put in several different types of embellishments just to show you what you can put in. It doesn't have to be like all sequins or beads. Um, it can just be whatever you want it to be. Um, and I wanted this one to be Christmas themed. So I put some of my um, jingle bells that I had in my stash in this one right here. And these ones, I believe I got off of AliExpress. Um, this one right here, it just has one of the red lollipops. And this is, again, another little charm I picked up off of Ali. Um, and it fits perfectly in here. And I know that I have more. I'm still going through all my stuff. But I do plan on, you know, filling this up with all of my Christmas embellishments. Here's another fun mix of the um, little peppermint mix. Again, these are from AliExpress. Um, this mix right here, I absolutely love this one. This one's from the Alina Craft Store. Um, and it's just an adorable Christmas mix. So I have that one in here. Again, another one with the little Santas and snowflakes. Super, super cute. Oops, one just fell out. Okay, so this one right here, these are actually gold leaves that I picked up off of AliExpress and they fit in here very nicely, but they're like poinsettia leaves and um, they're like fabric and gold. And see how they just fit snug in there? I thought that was perfect. That way when I'm Christmas crafting, I can just go in and look and see like some of the embellishments I have and they're all in one little spot. So um, that's why I put some of those in here. I put some of these stars that I also picked up off of Allie. They're like the little gold puffy stars. Um, I thought those would be good for Christmas crafting, so I put a few in there. Um, these ones right here, the red hearts and the um, stars are like knitted. Um, again, I thought those would be Christmas crafting, so I added them, and these are from AliExpress. Um, more sequins. This is really pretty red sequins. And as you guys know, you can get sequins from everywhere, and I'm sure we all have a ton of sequins, but um, I went ahead and put this red um, sparkly sequins in there. Again, um, I have some more of my um, Jingle Bells, and these are from AliExpress. I have them in red, white, and pink, and I love that they all fit right in there. Um, this container right here, I just wanted to show you again that you can put different items in these containers. These are um, these little clips, and I picked these up off AliExpress a long time ago, but they look like this. I have them in different colors, but um, look how cute that is, and they fit, you know, they do fit in here. So you, again, you can put different items in these little containers. It doesn't have to be just beads. Um, moving along to this row right here, um, I have these adorable little flat back deer. We all bought these last year off of AliExpress. I'll take a couple out so you guys can see how cute they are. 
look at the little face. You can put a little, um, uh, a little um, charm, make turn this into a charm and put it on your paper crafts. Super, super cute. So I have all of my cute little deer in here and they come in um, a variety of colors. Um, and I do have two containers of those. And then moving along, I did include some of my snowman charms and these are snow, are not charms. Well, they are charms, but they're snowman jingle bells. They're super, super cute. Again, I think I got these off AliExpress. Um, I have a ton of this sequence right here from scrapbook.com and I love these mixes because they're so pretty. And these are the uh, sparklets, um, the sparklets brand. I got them off of scrapbook.com and um, I have several of these ones. Um, and this is one of those mixes. So I included some of those because I like to do like pastel colors for Christmas. These tiny little beads right here fit perfectly in this container. Again, this is um, a purchase off of AliExpress. I love these little tiny beads. I actually ordered them in pink as well, um, but they're fun to add to shaker mixes. More of the sparklets. These are winter mixes. I'll link the product information down below in case you are wondering. A few other items I've included, some snowflake sequins, super pretty. Um, other items that I've included are charms. So I have several of my Christmas charms in here. These are the deer. I can take them out so you guys can see how cute these are. These are just the little um, reindeer. And I got these last year off of AliExpress. So cute. So I have several charms in here. Cute little gingerbread charms. And these are just some flat back jemmies, and I have, where are the hearts? I thought I put some hearts in here. I don't see them, but I have some bling with, oh, I see them. These are snow globe charms. They look like this. Again, we all went crazy and bought these last year off AliExpress, and these are the ones I was talking about with the hearts with the snowflakes. Oops, I'm dropping them. They're so pretty for your Christmas crafting. So um, I just wanted to show you this really quick. Um, I think this is a perfect way to store your embellishments by season, uh, just to give you an idea. Um, yeah, and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys, um, I bought. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you that I got off Amazon are these little um, tools, and they are perfect for rolling your rolled flowers. Um, I had purchased one from Hobby Lobby and it was for quilling. And then I saw Carolina's Crafts. Um, she had some of these and I noticed that the, the opening on the ones that she was using was a little bit longer and it's actually a lot easier uh, to use these ones. And she told me that she got them off Amazon. So I ordered some and it came in a big bag. You get several of these, you guys. So you could actually gift them to crafty friends if you want. I mean, it was a ton of them. I left the bag upstairs, but it came just like this in blue and in pink. And um, I have shared this die before, but this is one of the rolled flowers that I have in my stash. And I did get a lot of people asking me how to roll the flowers using the tool. So I figured I would quickly show you how to do it. So I'm gonna move that out of the way and just kind of zoom in so you can see um, how easy it is. I've already die cut it out. So I have this one right here, die cut out of some Christmas paper. And basically, I'll just get in a little bit closer just to show you the tool. So you see that little slot right there? That is where you're gonna slide your paper into um, to start it off, okay? So um, make sure that I'm focused. You want to start right here and you just want to slide it in like so in between the flower like that and i hope that you guys can see that i'm focused here we go and then all you're gonna do is turn it like so and you're just going to i just kind of press it in with my finger and just slowly turn it and you can actually you know go a little bit faster as soon as you get the rhythm um, it's actually really really simple but you're just gonna roll 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 
and I just kind of use my finger as a guide to roll the flower like this. And it really helps if you use like a lightweight cardstock. Um, it's a little bit more difficult if you use a heavier weight cardstock, I have found. So I would definitely stick to the lighter uh, versions. And then I, when I get to the bottom, I just kind of press it in like that. Just kind of press it in. And then you're just gonna slightly move this out of the center. It's gonna fall out. And then you're gonna see that your flower just kind of opens up like that and I just lost my little tool but that is how simple it is and there you have your rolled flower and you can um, stretch it out if you want to and kind of you know maneuver it and make it uh, shape it however you'd like but that's like the basis of it and all you're gonna do is take your hot glue stick a dab of hot glue right there and then push down and then you'll have your rolled flower and you'll be able to um, put them on your projects and that is how simple it is to use that tool. So I will leave the link to um, this tool in the description box below. Like I said, you get a ton of them and they're really inexpensive. So I'm really happy with this tool and thank you Carolina for sharing that with us. Um, and that is it, that is my um, Amazon haul for today. Thanks for stopping by my channel, leave a comment and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.